Did you know that a promotion in life is just a new level of emotion? So in this video, I want to show you how to handle your emotion and how to give yourself a promotion. Whenever people are dealing with different levels of success, you know, it's not the fear of the success itself that stops people succeeding. It's the fear of the level of emotion at the new levels of success. Because if you look in your life, you have levels of emotion. And you know, we know that as we earn more money, more money, there's more emotion that comes with that. We know that as we have more success within our career, there's more emotion that comes with that. And as we let people deeper into our hearts and we love people more, there's different levels of emotion that have to come with that. So it's actually the levels of emotion at the new spheres of influence that actually stop people from being successful. So if you think about that, it's actually the fear of the unknown that overrides your success. You see, people are able to handle their present levels of emotion, even though it, it sometimes pisses them off because they've been feeling it for so long. The truth about it is that your brain is constantly looking for the easy way out. It's constantly looking for, you know, to find the, the quickest fix, the shortest gap. And it doesn't want to actually move because it's able to handle or intellectualize those levels of emotion. So as I said, it's the fear of the unknown that actually frightens people. It's what they don't know that they don't know that scares people it's in terms of those new levels and those new those new spheres of influence it's the emotion around that that actually scares the crap out of people and stops them or make gets them to subconsciously sabotage their success within their relationships and with also within their career now there comes a point there's a, a tipping scale within our emotions and you know I'm always saying to people that all life is perturbation the word perturbation basically means to apply pressure to a cell so life is designed to apply pressure to you to get you to adapt and human beings have a capacity to adapt to their environment. So when they apply pressure within their environment, when like you're struggling with your partner, you're applying pressure there because you're wanting subconsciously to go to a new level of emotion within the relationship. You apply pressure within your career, like you subconsciously sabotage things to apply pressure to yourself because you want to elevate to new levels of emotion, because you want to be able to handle more. It's because the human, human beings, are an inner desire of every, every human being is to have more within their actual lives. So. The way you got to think about it is this, it's only when the pain of holding on to what you got becomes greater than the prospect of transforming, only at that point will you change. So I'll say that again a little bit differently. It's only when the pain of holding on to what you got becomes greater than the prospect of change, only at that point will you change. So what we do is we subconsciously set our lives up to create more pain within our lives so that we can adapt to the new levels of, of emotion and have a greater experience, a greater sensory experience. So ultimately, you know, it is inevitable that wherever it is you want to go within your life at some point in time you're going to go there so ultimately the world is set up and designed to get you to evolve but the reason as I said the reason people basically sabotage their success is because they don't know what that looks like it's like stepping into a new room you know there's, there's no lights on and you know you don't want to switch the light on because you don't know what's in there it's so and, and also you got to remember that human beings are really good at mopping up their crap they know how to fail they don't know what it is to succeed they know how to ma manage their failures because they a lot of the time they've been doing it their whole lives so you have two options in life. The first one is, is that you do nothing. You put your hands behind your back, you stick your head in the bucket, cross your fingers and hope to Christ everything's going to be all right. That's the first option. The second option is that you stop and you take control and rather than the universe having to push you, that you actually say, no, 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 you know what? I'm going to do it myself. I get that, you know, it's inevitable that I have to go to these new levels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push myself. So the I'm going to give you three steps in order to do that. This is what I use in order to get myself to different levels of influence. The first one is I ask myself, what am I afraid of? So what am I afraid of? Am I afraid of losing relationships? Am I afraid of leaving people behind? The second thing you got to do is you got to work out where you're already doing those things. So where if you feel you're going to be, if you become successful, that you're going to leave people behind, ask yourself, okay, who am I leaving behind right now because I'm not being successful? Who's been left in the, in the, in the gallows behind because I'm not being successful? And get that the thing you're afraid of is already happening. The final one is, is that you ask yourself, okay, what are 50 benefits to me shifting to a new level, to me allowing someone into my heart, to me having more wealth in my life, to, be, to me being more conscious, more awake, more aware. What are 50 benefits to me? How is it going to serve me and the immortal nature of my heart if I allow myself to go to that next level? As soon as you do this, the universe hears you whispering to it and it'll take you clunk clunk to the next level. The way in which you'll know is that your environment will reflect back the information to let you know that that's happened for you. So remember, environments adapt to transforming humans. When you take responsibility for your own transformation, the environment around you actually adapts and shows you that you're on track. 
I want to continue this conversation. So again, if you have any comments, just drop them in below. If you have an inner dialogue that you know sabotages your life, just tell me what it is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you with that and I'm going to make sure that you're able to overcome it. I'm going to give you some more tips to make sure that you don't listen to that inner dialogue, that you listen to your inspiration and not your desperation. Because the 66% of the people that don't turn up simply traded their inspiration for their desperation and that's why they never have anything within their lives. So I know that you're feeling inspired about this, make sure you drop a comment in and I'm going to help you overcome that inner dialogue that might be stopping you from actually moving. Cool. Uh, again, let's get back onto the conversation. Let's get, let's get plowing ahead with that. On top of this, if this has helped you in some way, please feel free to share the information on Facebook or tweet it to some of your buddies. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.